Okay guys, so we've been covering WPX.net for quite some time now. So in previous video, we've showed you how to set up your hosting with them, how to migrate your website seamlessly as well. And today I'm going to show you how you can optimize your website. So they have a special optimization feature as well. And the beauty of it is that you don't need any technical skills anymore. It's all done for you. Okay, so let me show you. So let's put this to the test, shall we? So we go to WPX.net, we log into our account, so log in. And then select the plan that you're on. So probably this one here. So manage service and then manage websites. And as you can see, as part of this service here, we have two different websites. We have designed with MrWeb.com and SMLGlobalCorporation.tech. And this is the one that we are going to optimize today. So now let me show you what it looks like in the front end. So this is a finance website. And as you can see, there are lots of images here in the background and none of the content here is optimized. All the images are full size and very heavy to load. So it's a pretty long page, as you can see, you know. So now if you go to Elementor, you can see all these images here are full size and they're pretty heavy, 669 kilobytes. This one almost 400 and this one almost 800 kilobytes. So clearly not optimized at all. And if you go into the back end, as you can see, none of the plugins are updated. Uh, we should install version 6.2.2, which is not installed yet. And also we don't have any caching plugin. So now let's see what WPX can do to optimize the speed of our website. Okay, so first let's have a quick look at the page speed inside score. Okay, so we put our URL here and analyze and let's see what Google think of our homepage. Okay, so the results are on. So as you can see on mobile, we have a score of 60, which is quite bad to be honest. And on desktop, we have a score of 96. So that's pretty good. And this is something you should expect from WPX.net. It's quite a fast hosting provider. So that's basically it. So this is a new website, like I said, you know, so let's find out how they can optimize this and if they can improve even a 96 score and see how it goes. Okay, so let's find out. Okay, so for this, we go back to our WPX dashboard. And from here, you can see we have sent an optimization request button. So click on that. So from here, you have to select your service. So it's designed with MrWeb.com. And now we have to select the website we want to optimize. So we have two websites. So this is the one here, smlglobalcorporation.tech. Okay. And then scroll down the page and then enter your credentials. So this is basically your WordPress admin uh, address, you know, your password and username. So right here, put in a brief description of the issue that you're facing. So for us, 60 score on mobile and 96 on desktop with Google PageSpeed inside. Now you can use a different tools. You have GT metrics and Pingdom as well, you know. So right here, you can add any additional request that you have. So I'm just going to say, feel free to optimize any parts of the WordPress dashboard if required. And you can install any plugin you see fit to increase the performances, okay? And then all we have to do after this is basically submit the form. Click on submit here. And there you go, as you can see, this has been submitted. So now it's the 29th of May, it's 14.11, so uh, 10 past two in the afternoon. And for the department here, security and optimization. So that's basically all the information provided now. So all we have to do is just to wait. So let's see how fast they can deliver and how fast our website will be as well after that. Okay guys, so I received an email from WPX and as you can see, we have completed the process of optimizing your website and here's what we found so it is actually 1548. So this took about four, maybe four and a half hours altogether. So not too bad. Now I need to mention something. They contacted me just to let me know that the DNS didn't propagate properly. So I had to rechange the DNS again. And this took maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours out of that time. So technically here, it only took two and a half hours. Okay. So immediately when the DNS had propagated, they installed a free SSL certificate, which will obviously increase performances as well. So before going ahead with the changes, they created a full backup and this backup can be found at this address here. So this is a very nice touch, obviously, just in case if I wanted to revert back to the initial state, I can always do so. Now, before going ahead with those changes, they run a few tests. So they test it on mobile and desktop, as you can see of those two links. So they found out it was 68 for mobiles and for desktop, it was 96. And remember, if you go back to our own test, we had 96 on desktop and 60 on mobile. So it's a very nice thing that they did, you know, to test that beforehand. So this is nice. And then they also use GT metrics, which is another tool for testing the speed. And as you can see beforehand, it was great A and 90%. And we'll see later how they improve that. Okay. So next, as you can see here, since W3 total cache was installed on the server, it was enabled and optimized. They also enabled the minify option for HTML and CSS. 
Now the JavaScript did not appear uh, to impede the speed, so they didn't minify it, so very nice. And then they did a few things here, they changed uh, something about Elementor, so they optimized the DOM opt output, optimized assets and CSS delivery because the page was built using Elementor, you know. Now remember that I did mention that none of the images were optimized, they were full resolution, so they installed EWWW Image Optimizer, which is a very well-known optimization plugin for images. And as you can see, it will automatically resize on upload, lazy loading and WebP conversion. So this is done as well for our images. And they installed and run WP Sweep to optimize the database. And here's the WP Sweep log. So as you can see, quite a few things were not optimized on the database. So here we have our results afterwards. So remember the GT metrics, we had A plus and 90%. So let's have a look. What is it like now? So A and then 100%. So this is the fastest you can ever get. And then we also have the result with Google PageSpeed inside. So we were at 60 for mobile. So what is the score now? So 80. So quite a good bit of increase there, you know. And then the same for desktop. We were at 96. And now it's almost perfect, 99. So great improvement indeed. So as you can see, you can easily improve your performances just by sending them a little form with a bit of information in it. And all of that is taken care of for you. So now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and see what they've done there, okay? So we go back here. So remember, we had five plugins that needed updating. We're on WordPress 6.2.2. So let's refresh and see what's happening, okay? And there you go, guys. As you can see, all the plugins were updated for us. And they even installed a few like image optimizer and w3 total cache like we've seen in the email so now wordpress 6.2.2 was not installed and the reason why is because this is the website owner's responsibility to do so and basically all you have to do now is to click on please update now and you'll be up and running no problem at all okay so if you want to discover more about wpx.net i'm gonna leave the playlist right here